In this example, uh, we're going to solve a quadratic equation uh, that has complex number solutions uh, using the quadratic formula. Uh, so here's the quadratic equation that we want to solve. Uh, 6x squared minus 2x equal minus 3. And so to apply the quadratic formula to solving this equation, first we need to set the equation to 0. So I'm going to do that uh, by adding 3 uh, to both sides of the um, equation and that will make the right hand side 0. Uh, so we get uh, 6x squared uh, minus uh, 2x plus 3 uh, equals 0. And now to apply the quadratic formula I need to identify uh, the coefficients in the equation. So the leading coefficient uh, a uh, is uh, 6. Uh, the second coefficient b is um, negative 2 and then the constant coefficient uh, c uh, is 3 and uh, we're just going to substitute those into the quadratic formula uh, as shown here and simplify uh, to get the solutions to the equation. So according to the uh, quadratic formula the solutions to this equation uh, are going to be um, uh, x is uh, minus b so that's minus a minus 2 plus or minus so again that's how we get uh, two possible solutions to the equation. Uh, so plus or minus the square root of uh, b squared, so that's minus 2 squared, minus 4 times a is 6, and then c is uh, 3, and then uh, all of this uh, divided by uh, 2 times 6. All right, so there are the two solutions uh, to the equation, uh, but of course we want to simplify this uh, to get a better idea of uh, what these two solutions actually are. So minus a minus 2 is plus 2, and then plus or minus the square root of uh, negative 2 squared is 4, and then uh, minus 4 times 6 is uh, negative 24, uh, and then negative 24 times positive 3 is negative 72, and then all of this divided by 12. So I end up here with um, 2 plus or minus uh, the square root of negative 68, 4 minus uh, 72 is minus 68, and then all of that divided by 12. And so here we can see now uh, that the solutions, uh, the two solutions to our equation are going to be complex numbers because um, in applying the, uh, uh, the quadratic formula to find the solutions, we come up with this uh, square root of a negative quantity, and of course that's going to be um, imaginary. And so um, that means that then that the solutions um, to our equation are going to be complex numbers. All right, now let's go ahead and simplify uh, uh, these two solutions as far as we can by hand. So let me show you how that process uh, would go. All right, so first um, I'm going to take the minus 68 uh, and I'm going to rewrite that as a product, uh, but a very simple product here. I'm going to write that as minus 1 times uh, positive uh, 68. And the reason I'm doing that uh, is just to show now that um, uh, that the solutions again to our equation are going to be complex, right? Because we can extract the square root of minus 1. Uh, we know that the square root of minus 1 uh, is um, the imaginary number uh, i. So we have uh, 2 plus or minus the square root of, uh, I'm sorry, 2 plus or minus i times uh, the square root of 68 uh, over uh, 12. <clears throat> now it's pretty good that we got that far, but actually we can simplify um, uh, these two solutions a little bit further by hand also because we can simplify the square root of 68 uh, in sort of the same fashion that we uh, simplified the square root of minus 68, I'm going to take that 68 and write that as a product. And I want to write that as a product of a, uh, a, a perfect square uh, times uh, some quantity. So if you think about 68 uh, a little bit, you can see that that can be written as 4 times uh, 17. So 68 is 4 times 17. And the reason it's um, beneficial to write 68 is 4 times 17 is uh, 4 is a perfect square. So you can extract uh, that square root of 4 just like we extracted the square root of minus 1 a moment ago. 
And so um, the square root of 4, of course, is 2. So we get um, uh, a further simplification here of our two solutions. We have 2 plus or minus 2 times uh, i times the square root of 17, because we can extract that square root of 4 as 2 in front of the radical sign. All of this divided by uh, 12. Now, you won't be able to simplify square root of 17 at all. Uh, 17 is a prime number. But we can still continue uh, simplifying uh, these two solutions to our quadratic equation because we can factor 2 from both of the terms in the numerator. So we can write the 2 plus or minus 2i times the square root of 17 uh, as 2 times 1 uh, plus or minus i times uh, the square root of 17 uh, over uh, 12. So I'm going to factor a 2 out of both of these terms uh, in the numerator. And the reason that's beneficial is now I can divide 2 into 12. So I can reduce 2 over 12. And so I end up here with 1 uh, plus or minus uh, i uh, times the square root of 17 over 6. 2 goes into 12 6 times, of course. So there are the two solutions uh, fully simplified, uh, as far as I can by hand at any rate, uh, to my original quadratic equation. One of my solutions is uh, 1 plus um, i times the square root of 17 divided by 6, that complex number. And then the second solution would be 1 minus i times uh, the square root of 17 uh, divided by 6. So uh, that uh, quadratic equation that we solved uh, had two solutions. Uh, both of them are complex numbers.